In this video, I'm going to write a C program that's going to print out only the unique elements of an array. So first we'll make a test array and we'll say here int a is equal to and we'll throw in some numbers and we're going to have some numbers that are unique and some that are not. So it doesn't really matter too much which ones, but we'll have some numbers in there that are totally unique and some that are not. So let's add up the total here. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 numbers in the array. And we'll, we'll make a function to print out the unique elements. So we'll say void print unique, and it'll accept an array and a length of the array as arguments. So when we call the function, it'll look like this. We'd say print unique, we give it a as an argument, and the length of a as an argument. And then we'll provide a definition of the function down here. So we'll provide a definition down here. And the way we're gonna solve this problem is we're gonna have two loops. We're gonna have a nested loop. So we're going to have an outer loop that's going to look at each element in this array using a counter index that it's going to use. Then we're going to have an inner loop that's also going to look at each element in the array. And basically, we're going to try to find a match. So if we ever find that an element has a matching element and their indexes are not the same in terms of the index that the outer loop is using and the index that the inner loop is using, then we're going to say we've found a match. And if we've found a match, we're not going to print that element. So because we've got this sort of have we found a match or not found a match situation going on, we're going to include std bool because std bool allows us to use Boolean variable types to handle that situation of something being true or not true, something being true or false. So we'll make our loop here. We'll say for int i is equal to zero, i is less than length, i plus plus. And then here's where we're going to have our bool. So we're going to say bool match found is equal to false initially. Then we'll have our inner loop here where we're going to say for int j is equal to zero, j is less than length, j plus plus. And here we're going to say if a at i is equal to a at j and i doesn't equal j. If that's the case, we're going to set match found to true. So what's going on here is we're doing a check. We're saying, is what we're comparing to another element here currently, is it the same? So are the values the same? So is a at i equal to a at j? And we're doing a check to make sure it's not the same index, right? Because we don't care if this four is equal to this four because that's just the same index that's being compared in the outer loop and the inner loop. So we want to make sure that i and j, the indexes we're comparing, are different when we find a match. But if we do find a match that does match these, these parameters here, then we're going to say match found is equal to true. And if match found is false, at that point, we're going to print out the element because we know that it's unique. So we'll say here, if not match found, print f, and we'll say print f a at i. So we'll say percent d slash n output a at i. We'll just output all of them on a new line. And that should really be it then for the function. So we'll give it a test here. We'll say gcc o d d dot c. We run it and we get two, five, six, nine, and seven. And those are the unique elements of that array. And so we figured out how to print the unique elements of the array in C. Check out portfoliocourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.